Mon Dieu, the window had been boarded up. The fisherman didn't remember doing that. Even when the storm came, he was safe in here. But no two silly planks of wood were going to get between him and his routine. Ah, this would do. What was it Papa used to say? Use the right tool for the right job. Nearly there. What was this feeling? The fisherman hadn't felt like this for a long time. At last, the smell of the ocean. But outside, not the sea. He couldn't believe his wooden eyes. Outside the room was another room, a replica room. And standing in it, a huge but very familiar figure of a fisherman. And he knew that if that huge figure were to turn, its face would be very familiar. Sacre bleu! If this was what lay outside, then what was inside his own little model lighthouse? In the model. It was all there inside the model. Exact in every detail. But the tiny version of himself, it was moving. He was inside the model, he was outside the model, and just... Just who was pulling all the strings? Just in, dear listeners, a general alert to all lighthouses. In spite of all of our thrilling up-to-the-minute warnings, a lone boat has gone out into the storm. Lighthouse keepers, make sure your lights are shining bright. I repeat, a lone boat has gone out into the storm. The lighthouse. The world might be folding in on itself, but only one thing matters now. He had to turn on the lighthouse lamp high above. The life of a fellow sailor was at stake. A huge anchor blocked the only door. Whoever did it must really want to keep the storm out, or keep something in. No good. The anchor was much too large to lift. Of course! As below, so above. When he lifted the tiny anchor, the large one was lifted by his giant self. Zut! The door was locked. He must have put the key somewhere last time he left this room. Now, when was that? And then, my friends, the strangest thing happened. Inside this room where he knew every cranny and nook, an unfamiliar voice said, Hey, hey you! Yes, you, the scruffy-looking puppet! Yeah, you with the strings! Over here! On the shelf! Are you cracked in the cockle? Why did you move the anchor? Why? Why did you take the roof off? The fisherman, he felt, uh, well, his lucky shell had just started talking to him, and very rudely too, so he did not feel so great. You test me every day, and you thought I just had nothing to say? I'm an hermit crab, Sonny, and you might not appreciate a nice quiet hiding spot, but I do. Now, shh! And what are we hiding f I'm hiding from the storm. Why do you think I stole the key? The key? The, the key? Where is it? Oh, fiddle crab sticks. The fisherman took a deep breath. Oh, hermit crab, craftiest of all crustaceans, I must get to the top of the lighthouse. Those sailors out there may be looking for us. We must be brave. Brave? Brave? If you can find me my hat, I will be the captain, of course. And the captain needs his hat and a life preserver, just in case. Then, uh, uh, just this once, we will be... brave. Well, of course, courageous Captain Crab, said the fisherman. Your hat and a life preserver. Now, where would an everyday wooden puppet find a tiny life preserver and a hat fit for a crab? There! 
Ah, now, put it around my gel. Good. Ah, I feel more buoyant already. Now, I just need a hat. <laughs> How else will people know I'm in charge? How's it go? Good. Now, put it on me carefully. I am very delicate. So, you found everything? Well, if a little wooden puppet like you can do this, then uh, I will be brave. Now, just let me get out of this damn shell. <coughs> Phew! Really? I feel so much lighter. And the world feels so much... bigger. I don't think I can go back into my shell after this. All right, let's do this! I'll help you open the door, so you can save your fellow silly old sailor. And I, as captain, shall courageously remain here, on guard. Now, let's see. Where did I leave the key? I was holding the key while I was repairing my shell. Then I had a sudden itch, and then, almost, got it. That will do. All right, are you ready? Me too, I think. Farewell, shipmate. I won't forget what you did for me. Your captain salutes you. He would need to find his way up the tower in the darkness and already could hear the storm rising outside. We're with you through the night, fish fans, and remember, no catch is worth risking life and limb, even if it is the biggest, richest, fishiest catch you've ever seen. And to all you lighthouse keepers out there, keep those brights on. The biggest fish Papa ever caught. The fisherman had spent all his life trying to learn a catch as big as that. Well, don't you look like a tall drink of <coughs> water? <coughs> it was still alive. This went against everything he had learned. He had to get the fish some water. section of world seemed loose. Of course, he had forgotten to glue this part of the model. It was only held on with two latches. might say they were natural enemies, the fish and the fisherman, but he could not let it die of thirst. Mm, no. Success! Water flooded into the model! Quick! Hold your breath! The water closed over him, and the memories came flooding back. The coolness, the darkness, the ocean tossing and turning him like a... like a rag doll. But wait a minute! Puppets can't drown! No! A bit of water wouldn't stop this fisherman. Oh, water, water everywhere, but... Is there any... 
anything to eat. I'm hungry. Hungry. <laughs> hmm. It seemed Papa had forgotten food. to feel his stuff. They must be food. Food. <laughs> Who are you, oh, noble fish? And do you know how to reach the top of the lighthouse? The fisherman asked. I'm a big-eyed tuna. My eyes are even bigger than my stomach. And if you want to go upstairs, my little amis bouche, well, you'll have to feed me first. Hmm. There must be food out here. Nothing? I'll starve. Any second now, I shall succumb to hunger. If only you find me some food! They smelled... Mm, vintage. But a stuffed fish could hardly be picky. had chalked on its own appetite. And also a fishbone. Oh. He had to climb inside the mouse. The fisherman was afraid. How many of this fish's family had he pulled from the seeds? Now, there was the bone of contention. Oh. <sighs> Thank you, fisherman. I, I could not get enough, you know. I wanted more, always. Like an obsession. But you, leggy land walkers, we don't know anything about that. Of course, you have everything, don't you? Well, what could the puppet say to that? Now, I must repay you. The key to the tower door is outside. I saw a huge figure hide it near the mirror a long time ago. Outside? I'm certain it was around here. Climb on in. <sighs> Welcome aboard, Fish Flight 123. Please keep your arms inside the mouse at all times and no splinters, please. Close your seat, sir. There was plenty of legroom, but the view left something to be desired. And there was a distinct smell of... Oh yes, sardines. Here we are. Mind your step. He was too high. He needed something. Uh, perhaps back in the lighthouse? At last. Time to get back to the lighthouse. Thank you for helping me, the fisherman said. Of course. You helped me see that there is more to life than the largest mouse hole. Sometimes a smaller morsel is sweeter, juicier and more delectable. Whatever next, the fi- Bonchos, little muscle. Thank you for setting me free. I hope you reach the top of the tower. The door opened. The lighthouse tower waited. The fisherman had begun to think that he had all the answers. But he would soon realize he had bitten off maybe more than he could chew. Papa's old study. I have been watching you. 
and I'm not impressed as me or my father before me. Ah, Papa, that you had lived to see this day. Papa, said the puppet, I must light the lighthouse lamp. A ship is in peril. My own son, a mere lamp lighter, a landlubber. Nonsense. All you need is a boat and a strong net. Show your trousy dog and sail out there. Maybe you're good for something. Keep going. You won't get far with Alpha Boat. Where is the next part? Did I ever tell you about the time I caught a fish as big as you? Bigger, in fact. Much bigger. Nearly there. Who am I kidding? You never finish anything. The door upstairs was rusted shut. Besides, Papa had given him an order, and a true sailor always obeys the skipper. Your mother would be sad to see this day. Not me, of course. I was always a very supportive parent. The cold floors of the old lighthouse crate were there on the balcony. The huge half flooded room surrounded him, and below. Easy, easy! Carefully now! Keep going, boy. I will make something of you yet. Did I ever tell you about the time I caught a fish as big as you? Bigger, in fact. Much bigger. I think your boat's cabin has been taken by the flood.
fishing. It is not. No, a craft. No, an art. A border craft. <laughs> I'm writing that down. There. That's a good, honest vessel. Well, what are you waiting for? All aboard! Now, pack it at the pontoon. Then we'll see who's too big for his father's boat. <clears throat> there. Allez, en avant tout! Castov, east by Narcist, full steam. Look at you. You look almost like a real sailor. If I squint. Thanks, Papa. The storm approaches. That's when the fish come easily, my son. The fish are waiting. Activate the winch! Drop the nets! In the art of the storm! This is where nature hides its beauties! They are waiting for us! <laughs> Forget, boy! Come back with a hold full of fish, or don't come back at all! Souls who are sailing out there, driven on by the disappointed fathers. I only wanted you to be great. As he climbed the hook, he thought of all the models yet, but I didn't. Au revoir, Papa. Then, I the don't fisherman know what you've saw been his hiding greed. from, but I've been hiding you from the storms! The I've everything you want, don't you? The greatest catch ever is out there, please. It's just waiting for us. Here we go. Outside, the storm raged. And it seems the rules of the replica had been completely disrupted. Inside the lighthouse, little versions of the puppet were reflected back at him, getting even smaller and there was only one match left to turn on the lighthouse. Was there anybody? <laughs> A match. Now something to strike it on.
three lamps were lit, but there was nowhere near enough light. Perhaps his little friends inside the model could help out. Be light. Farewell, Morpheus. I can rest now, knowing my obsession did not drag you down with me. Goodbye, little morsel. Outside, not the storm. A room, there. Familiar. He could use the handle in the ceiling to move the light and look around. But where was he? Mon Dieu, was that... that beard, that face? He, he was awake. Hey! Hey, the puppet cried. I'm in here! I've been in here all this time! I'm in here! Is it? <coughs> what a mess. Do you know? I think I've been in here long enough. I think I need to see the sea. Another storm. Fisherman, enough mending your nets, time to earn your keep. And to all you lighthouse keepers out there, I think you deserve a holiday. How long has it been? Well, no matter.